The CZ-75 almost has a cult following. They're just really well-made guns, uh, originally made in the Czech Republic and limited to Eastern Europe for a long time until the Soviet bloc kind of dissolved. That was one of the mistakes of the CZ-75, but one of the big things is the internal slide rails. I mean, it is just so flat shooting and it has a very low bore axis. It's double action, it's a hammer-fired pistol, so it's a little bit old school, but people love their CZs. But I've had some requests to do the CZ-75, so we're gonna take it, clean it, as instructed by CZ, and then I'm gonna point out a few things that you probably need to touch up on just to maintain your pistol and keep it in good working order. Now this cleaning process includes all of your CZ-75 variants. We have the CZ-75B, we have the Rami, which is the subcompact. We have the C75D, which is the compact, or it's also called the PCR. And then we have the SP01 Tactical. But we're going to focus on the CZ75B. Uh, this is the traditional model, and the others, again, all the same process. Now, for the demonstration, we're going to use the cleaning tools that are out of the CZ box. Uh, we're also going to be using just an old toothbrush, which is recommended by CZ. Or you can use a brass bristle brush, a wood scraper, or you can just use a cloth. And we will be using cleaning patches. I have some of the Hoppies number no. 9. I've been using this forever, and it's a solvent. We're only going to use this in the bore of the barrel, and we're going to be using some break-free CLP. Uh, there's a lot of different choices out there, and obviously you can use whatever. CZ does not necessarily recommend any specific type. Now the first thing we're going to do is to make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to drop our magazine, check to make sure the chamber is empty, and it is. Now with the hammer in the rear position, or at least in half cock, bring back your slide to where these two notches meet. And then flip your pistol over, and it's easier to take the base of a magazine and just push on that little takedown pin. And here we're just going to remove it, and then your barrel should slide off of the frame. One of the real unique things about the CZ-75 design is the internal slide rails in the frame. And you can see they're on the slide. And so it's one of the things that helps keep this pistol really low. And then also it makes it really flat shooting. I mean, that's one of the big secrets of the CZ design. Now we're going to remove our recoil spring and guide rod. It is polymer. And then we'll remove our barrel. And guys, that's pretty much all you need to do to get started cleaning. Now, according to CZ, if the pistol is unfired or has just a few rounds through it, uh, all they recommend is using your cleaning rod tool, and then from the breech side or from the, the chamber is to insert it with that clean rod. Now, this one's been fired quite a bit, uh, and then you just run the patch through until it's clean. But this one has definitely been shot quite a bit more, so it's a little bit of a different process. Now, because this pistol's fired, we're going to take our solvent, and we're going to take our brush, just dip it. And then we're going to take our barrel and from the breech side again, from the chamber, we're just going to push it through. And you want to go all the way through and then bring it back through. And you just do this a number of times. It doesn't really specify it, but typically for me, I do it about 10 times. Now this brush does not go all the way through the barrel, so it's a little tough pulling it out. Uh, to be honest with you, I would probably use a brass uh, brush, bore brush, to get this clean. One of the reasons why you don't want to go through the end of the barrel is you can actually nick this and it will affect accuracy. Okay, we've got this in here and we're going to let it set for about 10 minutes. It just allows for the solvent to work. So we're going to go ahead and take our patch, put it through the jag. And this is a dry clean patch. And again, we're going to go through the chamber. And we're just going to clean it out. Now the first one I'll use quite a bit. I'll just go ahead and get all that residue out. You want to get anywhere that the solvent made contact because the solvent again can cause problems with finishes. It can actually cause corrosion in certain parts. Now not necessarily the hoppies, but different types. Now we're taking a clean patch going to run it through. Now you'll see little debris, uh, you know, residue. You want to keep cleaning it until that just disappears. Here we've got another clean patch. And you just want to run it through again until this is clean. And this is pretty clean. 
Let's go ahead and remove our recoil spring from our guide rod. Uh, this is polymer. Now we're going to take just a little bit of the CLP or the oil lubricant. Just put it on here. We don't want a lot and let it soak in. Then you want to just take your barrel and we're going to go through every part and we're just going to wipe it down. Just a little bit of lubricant. This should kind of adhere to the metal. You want to clean out around the chamber. We're going to get every external part and just clean it off. Again, you don't need a lot of lubricant and we're going to wipe this off once we get it down. So if you put too much oil on here, it's going to be difficult to remove. Now it does say you can use a, t a brush, a toothbrush, and sometimes that just really helps to get it in there a little better. Especially when you're talking about the inside of the slide. You just want to get this cleaned up. There's a lot of debris and residue in here. One thing you don't want to do is get oil in your firing pin channel. Uh, it can cause problems. It can build up. So that's one reason why you want to use a light coat of oil. Make sure you get these slide rails. And we're going to get the outside of the firearm as well. We're going to get those slide rails on both sides. If you have built up residue, you can take, again, a small scraper. Uh, one thing that I like to use is maybe a little plastic scraper and I can get any kind of residue out of here and then we'll want to clean that off and just wipe it down. Under your extractor, that's one place that things can build up. Powder, uh, residue from the powder, lead fouling, and then here in the dust cover and on your locking block. And make sure you get those rails that are on the in internal rails there. And you don't want to get a lot of lubricant down into this area right here. Um, it'll really make a mess. And again, your magazine well just keeps it good and clean. Just a little bit of oil also in your barrel. Just go ahead and just a little light lubricant. And we're going to dry this out once it's done. Now we're going to take a small clean patch and we're just going to remove the oil. It does have a light film on it that it'll retain it. Each piece, I'm just going to dry off that lubricant again. Those slide rails, any excess oil, just get it off. Into your slide. A lot of residue builds up here. Some people take Q-tips, which works well, you can, especially in these crevices and in your slide rails. But you'll be surprised how much this little light coat of oil will do very well on most of the parts of your firearm. Right here where the firing pin is, you want to make sure you get that cleaned off. Again, I would do that with a dry cloth as much as possible. Keep oil from getting down in there. Now we're going to get the surface of the firearm and here we've got quite a bit of lubricant we're going to need to wipe that off but we're going to get that on these areas it'll keep it from any kind of rust or any kind of corrosion and these grips by the way are VZ grips um, I believe they're G10 there's a lot of different choices for these make beautiful grips one thing CZ recommends is that you inspect to make sure that there's no lint or any kind of fouling or bristles. We can see here, if you're not careful, some of this stuff can get lodged in here and cause problems later. So we want to make sure we do a good inspection. Plus, it helps us to see any kind of buildup. Again, we're going to inspect in our slide here, making sure there's no lint or anything inside the barrel. Then I take a cloth and I just remove any excess oil uh, on the exterior. This just keeps it nice, keeps the fingerprints down as well. Now that looks really good. Now each time that you shoot, uh, CZ recommends that you run a dry patch through your barrel. Uh, so that's just one of the things they recommend. Now to keep your magazine clean, just pr depress the little detent right here and then just push and pull off 
the base plate of your magazine. Now you want to hold your thumb here because you don't want this to come flying off. We've got our follower in here. We're going to take it out. Now that's just the way to disassemble it. It's pretty easy. We're going to take a cloth and just kind of give a little bit of oil to the spring. Not a lot. Again, we don't want build up. And then inspect the body of your magazine. Just making sure that it's good and clean. There's no debris in there. And you can give the body of the magazine just a little coat of oil and we'll wipe that off. You can see these strings coming off like that. You just, again, want to make sure those don't get trapped. Follower, just clean it off. You can do that actually with a dry cloth. Okay, we got the magazine clean. We're going to go ahead and insert our follower. And we can put our magazine spring, making sure that our base plate, retainer plate is in place. Hold it down and then take the base plate from the front of the magazine just fits over these little rails I'm make sure that that comes there it goes right there it should have a little nub to hold that plate into place then we're going to wipe down the magazine with a good clean cloth with a clean cloth now CZ also recommends that if you're going to put this up for long-term storage you need to use some kind of grease uh, or oil and you don't want to shoot it though once you've applied it you need to really remove it all we're not going to keep this in long-term storage so we're not going to apply that grease now this is outside of CZ's recommended cleaning but we're just going to lube this up and it's good to put just a touch of oil on your slide rails and we're going to remove the excess we're just going to put a little bit a little bit right here where it rides on some of the parts and right here where your barrel lugs fit in, just a little drop of oil. You'll also want to do this right here on the barrel, on the breech face, and on those places, and just a touch on the barrel. And then we're just going to wipe that down. In the guide rails, a little bit of oil. Guys, I'm telling you, it doesn't take much. You want to remove any excess And just a touch of oil right here on your takedown pan or your slide stop. But again, you want to get that wiped down, get all the excess oil off. Now we've gotten everything clean. Let's go ahead and insert our barrel. We're going to reattach our recoil spring and guide rod. Slide it in. There's a little nub right here on the recoil spring and it wants to fit right on right here at the barrel. You'll notice that it does bow out and it does that with all of them. Uh, and then again, we have our internal slide rails. We're gonna bring those over. We're gonna line up our notches to the correct position. And then just reinsert our slide stop. It goes in with a snap. Test for function. Man, it's slick, slick, smooth. There we go. So guys, I hope that this helps keep your CZ75 running for a long time. Down in the comments, if you have a CZ and you've experienced certain things with it, please leave it in the comments below if there's a certain way that you like to clean it. It's just great to have those comments down there. People read them, and um, I might learn a few things myself. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. For a long time, these were Eastern Bloc only countries. Uh, and we're going to, we're just going to put some on. This is a lubricant. Well, one down, three to go. <laughs>